In this movie, we'll be demonstrating how to order a custom sized fine art print and gallery wrap using Miller's Designer Plus ordering software. Let's begin our demonstration by ordering a custom sized fine art photograph. From the Designer Plus opening window, double click the Create a New Project icon. Scroll through the list to the wall art icon, select the category, and click the Next button. Click the Fine Art Paper or Canvas icon here and click the Next button. Next, we will select the size of the photograph for our order. However, before selecting a size, we must first know the width and height of our custom size print. In this example, let's create a custom size Fine Art photograph with the finished dimensions of 14 inches by 18 inches. For this size, we will choose a standard print size large enough to accommodate the custom size we are creating. For our 14 inch by 18 inch example, this custom photograph will fit on the standard print size of a 16 by 20. Scroll to the 16 by 20 product and select the icon. The cost of our custom print, 14 by 18, will be the price of the standard print size we select, in this case, 16 by 20. Click the Next button. Enter a name for our project and click the Create button. Our first step will be to load the image file we will use for the order. Click the plus sign in the Pictures column here, locate the file, and open the image. Click the graphic in the center of the page. Small blue circles in the corners and sides are now visible. Go to the top right and select the Ruler tab, the fourth tab from the left. In the panel's size area, we will input the dimensions of the custom print size we are creating. Again, for this example, we are creating a 14 inch by 18 inch custom size fine art photograph. Highlight the width and input 14. Press the tab key and input the height as 18. The image node is now sized to the exact dimensions needed for a custom fine art photograph. Drag and drop the image onto the graphic. Double click the image to adjust the crop for the final result. Use the slider here to rotate the image. When finished, click OK. At the time of printing, our custom size will be printed onto a 16 by 20 white paper. If our image is high key, it can be difficult to know exactly where the photograph ends and the extra paper begins. We have the option to add a tiny black border around the photograph. To add this option, go to the tab area and click the first tab. Place a check mark in the border feature. A very small black line will be added to the edge of our photograph. We can use this to trim the print to the correct size when it arrives from the lab. And finally, if there is room in the blank area around our custom print, we can add a text box and input the dimensions of our custom print size. Click the text box icon here, drag the text box to a blank area, and resize the text box to fit. Double click inside the text box and input the dimensions of the final photograph. Final print size 14 by 18. As we complete the order, an option can be selected and Millers will trim the photograph to our custom print size for us. To have Millers trim the photograph, click the Add button here and input the print's final dimensions in the Trimming Instructions field. The print will be trimmed to the final size we input. Review the other options available and proceed through the steps to upload the order to Millers. Let's now order a custom size gallery wrap. The steps we will follow are very similar to ordering a fine art print. From the Designer Plus opening window, double click the Create a New Project icon. Again, scroll to the list to the wall art icon, select the category, and click the Next button. For this demonstration, we will order a custom 1.5 inch guy wrap with the final custom dimensions of 21 inches by 26 inches. Select the icon and click the Next button. When ordering a custom sized gallery wrap, we must take into account the wrap area of the finished product. If we order a 2.5 inch guy wrap, we must add 6 inches as a wrap area of our custom size. For example, to order a 2.5 inch gallery wrap for our 21 inch by 26 inch custom size, we would add 6 inches to the starting dimension 
the resulting dimensions would be 27 inches by 32 inches. Likewise, if we order an inch and a half guy wrap, we would add four inches as a wrap area of our custom size. In this example, our 21 inch by 26 inch would become 25 inches by 30 inches. We would choose a gallery wrap size that is large enough for the custom size being ordered. For this example, we would select a standard print size of 1.5 inch, 30 inch by 30 inch guy wrap for our 25 inch by 30 inch custom size. As with the fine art print, we be charged the price of the standard print that accommodates our custom guy wrap size. Click the next button, input a name for the order, and click the create button. First, select the image we will order for our custom gallery wrap. Click the graphic in the center of the page, select the ruler tab in the top right, highlight the width, and input 25, press the tab key, and input the height as 30. The image node is now sized to the exact dimensions needed for our custom gallery wrap. Drag and drop the image onto the graphic. Adjust the crop by double clicking the image and modify the crop box for the final result. Use a slider to rotate the image. When finished, click OK. At the time of printing, the image will be printed onto a 30 inch by 30 inch white canvas. If our image is high key, we have the option to add a tiny black border around the photograph. Go to the tab area and click the first tab. Place a check mark in the border feature. A very small black line will be added to the edge of the photograph. On the screen are blue lines and a shaded area for the 1.5 inch, 30 inch by 30 inch gallery wrap we chose earlier. But since we created a custom gallery wrap, the blue lines and shaded areas are not in the correct place for our custom print size. However, we can still use the lines and shaded areas to determine how the image will be wrapped on the sides of the finished guy wrap. Hold down the mouse button and drag the image to the left and right sides. Be certain to align the edge of the image with the edge of the graphic and not go beyond. As we do this, the portion of the image in the shaded area is what will be wrapped on the sides of our finished guy wrap. Drag the image to the top and bottom to view the wrap area of the image for the top and bottom of the finished guy wrap. If some portion of the image will be wrapped that should not be, double click the image and modify the crop. As we complete our visual inspection of the wrap areas, make certain we leave the image fully visible and no part of the image is beyond the shaded borders. And finally, if there is room in the blank area around our custom print, click the text box icon here, drag the text box to a blank area, and resize the text box to fit. Double click inside the text box and put the dimensions of our final result. As we complete the order, please click the Add button here for the Trim to Custom Size option. And input the print's final dimensions in the Trimming Instructions field. Review the other options available for our order and proceed through the steps to upload the order to Millers.